My name is Josh. Hello, this is Beth. It is called a blue tongue skink. Oh. <laughs> and not skink like you, stink. It's skink with a K. And it's called a blue tongue skink. Why do you think it's called a blue tongue skink? No. Yeah, that's why. You see her do this with her face head? You see her go first? They are from Australia. Get to be about this size. Not nasty, big like myself, six feet. Get to be this big. This to be about what? 10, 20 years ago? They lived to be about 20 years. They're very nice. It's kind of like a, uh, a snake with legs, as you can see. It's very smooth, very nice. Now, why does he have that bright colored tongue? That bright colored tongue is a defense technique. Because bright colors, like yellow, like your shirt, blue, um, red, bright, bright colors, they say that to other animals that they're poisonous. Like, you know, poison ivy? So when he goes, he would say, leave me alone, I'm poisonous. Even though he's really not. But the other animal will think, oh, you're poisonous. I'll go and leave him alone. So that's why his tongue is a nice bright blue. He eats meat. Does he eat meat? He's an omnivore. Does omnivore. anyone know what an omnivore is? No. Oh, buddy, go for it. Perfect. So this guy loves fruits and vegetables like bananas, strawberries, carrots, lettuce. Do you guys like those things? Yeah. But he also likes mealworms, crickets, beetles. Do you guys like to eat those things? No. <laughs> he does, he likes to eat all of those things. Now, this is Miss Piggy. And Miss Piggy got her name for a very, very important reason. Miss Piggy is a Western hognose. So, please let me introduce you to her. This beautiful creature. Now, this is a Miss Piggy, and this is as big as she gets. So, as you can she see, she's a very, very small snake. Really quickly, before you guys get to pet and hold her if you want, I want to show you why she got her name. So if you guys can see, look at her nose, you're going to see that she's got a beautiful pig snout. Do you guys see that upturned nose of hers? Isn't it adorable? And if you guys can't see in the back, when she comes around, you guys will all get a turn. Now she uses that nose for a very important reason. She lives in North America, so she lives in an environment where there's lots of sand. She basically lives in a giant sandbox. So she uses that nose like a shovel, and she digs, and she's amazing at digging. She'll actually burrow her entire body underneath the sand in a matter of seconds. And she does that because she is so small, there's lots of animals that could hurt her, so she has to hide. Now, when you guys touch her and feel her, she's gonna feel very different. She's the only snake we brought today that is not a constrictor. So, She's not going to feel as strong. She's going to move a little differently. She's going to move a little more side to side. But the reason we can handle her is because she's considered harmless to humans. Most snakes, whether or not they're poisonous, their defense when they get really, really scared is to bite. And that's how they protect themselves. Miss Piggy will never, ever, ever bite out of fear. She only bites when she's eating, and she definitely knows we're not food, so she'd never bite a human. What she does when she gets very, very afraid, she'll actually roll onto her back. She will lay perfectly still, and she plays dead, just like a possum. And she lays very, very still, and she can actually make a smell come off of her body that kind of smells like rotten food. So I got an animal from Madagascar. I went shopping for myself. It is really awesome, cool thing for the show. The awesome earrings. Lots of mommies are like. <laughs> Let me guess one word, Ray. So actually, I have a boy and a girl. Cockroach. You can tell is the boy. Boys are always brighter. They're orange. They're red. It's always brighter. And the girl, she has she's much darker. Boys also have these cool horns on their head. Just like this right here. The girls, they're very sticky. They're called kissing cockroaches because they, they do hiss like this. 
kind of like a snake does. And you guys think that's scary, right? That noise? Well, if animals and reptiles in the, in the wild think the same thing. They think that hissing noise is scary, so animals will go away from them. They could live to be about 10 years old, and they could be five inches this big. Look at that. A lot more growing to do. And yes, you can see you can cut them. They're going to have to grow them by hand. Monty is actually from here in the United States, but he lives in places like Texas and Florida, and he can also be found in Mexico. So he loves very warm places. Monty is a box turtle. Now, like all turtles and tortoises, Monty has an extremely hard shell. His shell is so hard that when he gets really, really scared, he can actually pull his entire body inside his shell and animals can't bite down and break it. It protects him, but he takes it one step further. Do you guys see this line right here? Yeah. You guys see that line? Yeah. Well, that line acts like a door hinge. So when, Mon when Monty gets really, really scared and he pulls his body inside his shell, he can actually hinge his shell closed, completely sealing himself in so animals can't stick their claws in and get him. So, if you notice, he's starting to do that with his hind legs. He can do the same thing with his head, and when he's completely sealed up, he looks like a rock. So that's why he got his name, because he closes himself up like a box. Now you guys are also gonna notice he's got those beautiful red and orange markings on his face. He had those the same reason Frankie had that blue tongue. He uses those really, really bright colors to pretend that he's poisonous, even though he's not. Now, he's about 12 years old. He's gonna live to be about 50 to 100 years. But he's not gonna get any bigger than this, so he's actually done growing. Now, his shell is attached to him. He was born with this shell and it grows with him. And his shell is actually made out of the same material as our fingernails. It's just his shell's a lot thicker, so if his shell was as thick as our nails, our nails would never ever break. This guy. It's called a bearded dragon. His name is Toothless, live and a tiger dragon. Bearded dragons live to be about 10 years old. Ours is about two or three, so we're still a baby. I know these, these spikes right here seem sharp, but actually like rubber. See? Yeah, I got the like rubber. Remember those coloring is different. One of their defense mechanisms when they do to defend themselves, they really do this and they turn black. Uh, black. All right, here. They're also the biggest meal of the club. And he can do the same thing with his head. Claws are not too sharp at all. They're very domesticated, very just chill. Really rough and really sharp. It's not. See, see, you guys want the spikes? Now doing this. It doesn't hurt. Now this is a white tree frog. Now these live in Indonesia and New Guinea. Now, in the wild, these animals are extremely hard to find. Not only do they live extremely high in the trees, but they can also change colors. They can go from a light green to a dark green to a brown which are all colors of the trees. So they camouflage or they blend in with their surroundings and animals can't see them. Now they do have suction cup hands, so they're able to stick onto the wall. And that is how they climb. They literally leap from leaf to leaf and stick on.